Hey guys, Dr. Eric, your peptide doc and fitness physician. Just continuing on with my, I was talking about uh, doing a peptide series. Uh, this one today was talking about MOT SC. Tune in for part one if you missed that. Today is part two. It's kind of the, re uh, the final part. Uh, so the bottom line with MOT SC is that, again, as I talked about in the last video, enhance their ability to handle metabolic stress. So practically, what does that mean, right? Uh, so a lot of things, it's, it's going to be uh, enhancing muscle growth and muscle endurance and, and overall energy because, again, you're handling uh, the stressors. You're able to uh, provide and turn on that cellular machinery to crank out the AMPK and the ATP, etc., to turn on uh, lipolysis and fat burning and all these things you need to to get energy flowing in the body so you could exercise or deal with stress or go yell at your boss or whatever it is that may be. But basically, enhancement of endurance, energy, and muscle growth obviously can help slow down the aging process, slow down bone, bone loss, and enhance fat loss because of these same things. Another big one is that enhances insulin sensitivity, which a lot of people unfortunately are dealing with right and a lot of people are insulin resistant on that slippery slope to diabetes this is a thing something that can massively enhance insulin sensitivity it does that through enhancing ampk and then what we talk about the cert genes sirt and glut4 we all know that glut4 is a uh, basically a, a cellular machinery that helps our body metabolize a, a blood sugar especially when you exercise or uh, etc it enhances uh, those glut4 receptors get translocated and moved to the cell to actually take in glucose so we could use that as fuel so uh, it Again, modest C and does all these things through these through, through these sensors and through this enzymatic machinery to tr increase insulin sensitivity. Uh, it also is, uh, reduces inflammation by lowering levels of some of the in, uh, inflammatory uh, cytokines like TNF alpha and IL six. Another thing it does is the browning of fat. Right, it turns white uh, adipose tissue into brown adipose tissue, which is more metabolically active in terms of generating heat, to burning things off. That's the brown fat is what we lose as we age. I think of uh, babies when they're young; they don't shiver as much. But, because they have all that brown fat, it releases heat. So that's what we want. We're gonna burn off that energy as heat, whereas the white fat just kind of sits there, doesn't do much other than just accumulate. Well, it does a lot more things. We've talked about that before. Actually, can especially if you're inflamed, it can create a lot of bad inflammatory cytokines, which can cause other problems. We've talked about in other videos. But basically, the bottom line is we want we're getting helping to get rid of that bad fat and increasing our brown fat, which is a good thing. So the biggest thing is, is this helps with weight gain and fat loss, especially. You know, they did a study, now this is on rats, but they had much decreased, markedly decreased weight gain on a high fat diet. So a lot of people are, you know, trying to lower their carbs, eat more fat, so this will prevent excessive weight gain. So um, again, this is, these are some of the practical benefits of Mod SC. So dosing is a little bit tricky. Um, it's something that's very light sensitive. You want to use it very quickly. It's not something you want to leave sitting around or even in the fridge for a period of time. Once you have it, you need to use it. Uh, and again, it's very, you have to be very careful with this one. This is a very strong one, it has a lot of effect, but in general, 10 milligrams sub Q every other day for about a month, and then you could switch to once a week. But again, only uh, you want to use it for a finite uh, period of time, again, under the supervision of someone who knows what they're doing. Again, I've talked about this before, guys. Please don't just buy peptides off the internet and just experiment with your body. These are very powerful medications. You want to be under the supervision of someone who knows what they're doing, um, someone who's been certified and, and trained in peptides and, and medicine in general, a, a clinician, a physician, uh, certainly a nurse practitioner, or a PA who's been trained in this and, and appropriately. Um, you don't want to just read you know, internet gurus who have no medical background, ex actually hands-on experience with patients. So please be smart and uh, work with someone who knows what they're doing. Be careful with your bodies and your, and your brains. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, we'll get into some more peptides on the next one. Everyone have a great day. Talk to you soon.